Welcome to Hacker Headache. We're the Hack Sisters. Today we're going to make a projector out of a small box and a smartphone. We're also going to be trying to make popcorn in the microwave using a paper bag. Will these be hacks or headaches? Let's, Let's find, find out. out. So what did you do to get started? I found the shoebox laying around the house and painted it black on the inside. So if you don't have black paint, what can you use? You can use tape or construction paper. And also, if you don't have a shoe box, you can always use just a regular box as long as you have a lid with it. Okay, so after it dried, we found the center point of the small side of the box and um, we took a magnifying glass and we matched the center of the magnifying glass with that point and then we used an exacto knife after we traced it to cut a hole the size of the magnifying glass. And be careful with the exacto knife or scissors because they're sharp and you can hurt yourself. I did last night. <laughs> All right, so what is our next step? Our next step after cutting the hole, we take the flaps back and you just bend it back a little bit because you're gonna wanna keep them to help us seal as much light as you possibly can. So we're gonna take that we don't need the lid. We're going to take tape that in like that. Ah. All right, so how do we need to do this over here? So um, when the light goes through a lens, the image will get flipped upside down when projected against a wall. So you should go into your smartphone settings and make it to where the image won't flip when you turn your phone. And then you're going to want the phone, when you finish your projector and you put it in there, you're going to want your phone upside down. Is that going to hold or do we need more tape? Oh, we need one more over here. It's a little weak. How about now? All right, let's try it. Now, for every hack that we do, it's our first time to ever tried it. So, you're along for the ride just as much as we are. So, I think this is going to work. It feels like it's going to be all right. Now... I'm sorry. Oh, I was just gonna say, what do we do next? Well, I was just gonna, um, I was just gonna make a note that um, if you have a second magnifying glass, you would want to have that ready just in case your focus isn't perfect. Because if you place another magnifying glass behind mm -hmm. that one, it will help with that. We only have the one magnifying glass, so and I hope we even put it on the right side, so it'd be good to see, like. Oh, I didn't know there was a right side. I don't know. Is it there? Look. I don't know. Well, this looks far away. That's the inside. That looks close up. So we might have put it on backwards. We'll see. All <laughs> right. So now that we have it all together, we're going to open it up. And if my sweet sister assistant could hand me the phone holder, if you do not have one, this is just made out of modeling dough. You can get it anywhere. So you put it in the back like that. And you take your phone. Well, actually it would probably be better if you just stuck it on your phone. So if you want to hook it up to a Bluetooth speaker, that's a good idea too. So what you do with this now, after you just close the lid, take it to a dark room, and enjoy your movie. With this, we are also going to do the popcorn. So, be right back for that. So we are getting ready to make some popcorn in the microwave. Only we're going to use a brown. 
like that. One third cup of popcorn kernels. Um, we're just kind of experimenting here, so not sure how much butter to use, but we'll try just a little bit here. You could put in any kind of popcorn seasoning you like at this time, if you have like the kind of the butter or sprinkle stuff or whatever you like on it, the uh, cheddar, or we're just gonna put a little bit of salt with it. And I am certain that butter is gonna melt in there, so I'm gonna put a plate to protect the bottom of the microwave. Just close the bag up, and we are gonna put this on for two and a half minutes. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take, so we're gonna listen for the popping to slow down and gradually stop, and then we're gonna stop it. So we're just gonna start off with two and a half minutes. And let's see how this goes. A few moments later. All right, I think we should probably stop it now. All right, and that's at 28 seconds. So it was about two minutes. All right. Let's see, oh, hopefully we didn't make a mess in here. Oh, it's still popping it's on still me. still popping. No big mess is all over. I think we should, oh, it smells kind of burnt. Well, let's take it and shake. Oh, wow, that is a, that, that is it hard? Is, look at that. It is a little burnt. Oh. Probably like when you were talking and I was wanting to stop the popcorn. And, but some people won't mind burnt popcorn. It happens with It's not all the way burnt. Popcorn. It's just a little bit burnt, you know? Yeah. All right, you have a bowl? Um, or should we just dump, we'll dump it out on the plate. Yeah, let's do it. It is hot. Well, we could have cut it open, the bag open. That's okay. Well, it didn't burn all of it. Not so. too bad. No. That's a lot of popcorn in there. One yeah. third of the cup, it popped up, I mean, a lot. And I don't know how buttery and how seasoned it is. Maybe next time, add a little extra butter or something. Put a little more All right. salt on it, but you know what? It's good, and it worked, and it was not a headache. So, so popcorn headache or no? It was a good hack. Nice. And we learned from it. Yes. So next time will be even better. All right. Let's get our projector and head up to the dark room. Oh, look at how greasy the bottom is. You, you should always want to put something, a plate underneath of it. Definitely, definitely. And that's Make where sure the popcorn went, so, yeah. so maybe like, hmm, I don't know. Well, just make sure whatever you use, it's microwavable safe. Yes. All right. All right. Let's go. All right, we have the phone hooked up. We're using a space on the wall that's not used up, which is kind of hard to find. So, oh, we gotta turn it on. All right, we got it on. Now it's time to hit the lights and see if this is a hack or attic. I see a faint light, that's about it. We can make little ghosts on the wall, if anything else. So th wh where's the phone sitting, toward the back? The phone is sitting towards the back. Can we try moving it closer? All right, so it's in the middle. Let's turn the flashlight off. The phone. And it looks like it even made it worse. Yeah, no image. All right, so today we found out that making a projector out of a shoebox, magnifying glass on your phone, turned out to be a real big headache for all the stuff went into it. But there's also other alternatives that you could use besides the magnifying glass. Uh, we only use that because we have that handy. You could also use, what else could we use, Aiden? A uh, camera lens. Um, especially one that's that you can adjust the focus. Um, also, a suggestion was to use another 
magnifying glass to help with the focus. So we you only have one. Yeah, you could try using another one. I think the quality of this one wasn't as good as we thought, so maybe a better one. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, there's another idea where you use a fishbowl. So well, all those things would be interesting. interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So headache, no good. That was a bummer. Um, the pop popcorn, hack or headache? No, that was decent. And um, we learned a few things for the next time, but I think that was a hack that worked very well. All in all, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Not at all. Oh, how can I miss <laughs> that? So if there are any hacks you'd like to see us try, mention it in the comments. And we're going to try to make sure we read all the comments and get back with you. And remember, in the comments, we are not going to tolerate uh, any trolling, any disrespectfulness, uh, any vulgarity. This is a family-friendly program, or whatever you want to call it, but it's for the family to enjoy together. So if everybody could be respectful, we would be so much appreciated. Because that's how to be respectful, mm -hmm. and that's how to be fun. <laughs> and that's how to uh, pay back your sister with you. <laughs> All right, everybody. See you next time. Hope you had fun with us. We had fun with you. Bye-bye.